with me is uh, yourself, Rina. 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 And Rina was one of the lucky ones to be a part of the guest list. I believe there were more guests beyond the 600 top guests, yes. and uh, you and your dad were one of the British Asians, or British Indians, who actually uh, were so lucky to be invited. And especially in a combination of Indian national costume with a nice fascinator, you look beautiful. Thank you. And how was the experience? You know, because everyone is asking you, I, I believe yeah. so. What, is, is that uh, the first ever formal uh, royal event have you attended in this yes, country? It is, yeah. It's okay. The first world formal event okay. I've attended. Uh -huh. um, it was really fun. It was a nice atmosphere. We made lots of friends, people inside. Oh, lovely. Uh, the service was really nice. Um, I just And the weather was so good as well. And that just made it a more joyous occasion. Uh -huh. But just really a nice, uh, relaxed atmosphere. Uh-huh. Excellent. Uh, and um, the service you said was really nice. So uh, was that like uh, uh, Anglican service or was it like multi-faith? No, no, uh, Christian. It was Anglican service, yes, yeah. Anglican. Okay, and uh, did you have like, you know, when you said you met guests from other countries or was it uh, primarily from uh, UK? The other guests? Yeah, the other guests, um, yeah. Uh, well, there were some people from uh, different countries like myself and my dad, some, a few Asian people, a few uh -huh. people, but not that many, I was expecting more actually, Yeah. Uh, mostly white British people. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, what do you think about this new royal couple because uh, Meghan is herself an example, a feminist, a divorcee always, uh, already and uh, coming from, um, what do you say, a uh, glamorous field, you know, and she's bringing her own personality. And uh, when you see royal family, it is very regimented, it is uh, yeah. structured and everything. How do you think the new couple is going to do? There is speculation that, you know, they are going to be uh, a fantastic young ambassador for the Commonwealth, you know, diaspora, yeah. Commonwealth countries. What is your opinion? I think uh, there are a couple that the younger generation can relate to more uh -huh. and also the older generation would really like them because of uh -huh. Harry is Diana's son and a lot of people in the older generation really like Diana so they're always watching Harry and William to see mm -hmm. how they're doing and what they're doing mm -hmm. but I think uh, Meghan Markle being from Glamorous Field there's people that know her from her previous career yeah. people that know Harry because of all these things that he does so they will, can be a new power for uh, the younger generation, I think, uh -huh. and uh, be an, a good inspiration to the younger generation. They would. Do you think they will set an example of a, a, will, a modern royal royalty? Yeah, and I think um, they they will change uh, royal traditions a little bit, make them more modern. Uh -huh. but also, um, they seem very similar in that they're focused on humanitarian things. Uh -huh. So I think both of them will work really hard on those things and hopefully it will bring a lot of attention to uh, issues that need um, looking at in the world. Excellent. May I also ask you to join for the interview? I represent, you know, thank you very much, Reena. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Um, uh, news views uh, from India and uh, I'm connected with them. I would like to know about, you know, this is your first royal uh, sort of yeah, yeah, event. Yeah. <laughs> it is? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you think about, you know, the whole concept of inviting so many guests? You know, what, what is the uh, idea of the royal uh, policy behind that? You know, what's happened is, yeah. the royal family up till now has been thought of as very, uh, very focused within their own nobility and uh -huh. whites and white from the noble family uh -huh. and it was not possible for any royal to marry outside that circle of royal it's the first time not, not the second time first time Harry's elder brother Attention. married Attention. a commoner uh -huh. you know, this is a safety announcement but this Train time are very busy. The Prince Please William your time. married an English Thank English you know, uh, Kate Yes. Kate Middleton. But this one is special. Let Prince you Harry had ma married a divorcee. Mm -hmm. He married, you know, uh, a girl who was uh, uh, black, mixed, mixed race. Mm -hmm. And he also actually married an American. All three things were never acceptable to British monarchy, British royal family. 
first time so many traditions have been broken. Or I won't say broken, but compromised. And it is nice to see the royal family has come to terms. Well, if you look at the the the, the makeup of British society now, you've got all kinds of people. You've got blacks, you've got Indians, you've got high caste, you've got low caste. You know, you've got Arabs, you've got Muslims, you've got Bangladeshi. So it consists of everybody. multicultural, it's very multicultural, mul di diverse community. It's a melting it, melting point of culture. Yeah, and yes. what what today's wedding is demonstrated is that royal family is accepted, and they are leading by example. Right? They've got mixed culture in their own family. So people's confidence in royal family is not going to go up because royal family is seen as role models, right? And they are demonstrating a role model that diverse community is not just in word, but they are actually practicing it or marrying, allowing their son to marry with a girl from diverse community. I think it's a great thing that is happening to this country, to British society. It's a turning point. A turning sort of point here. for yeah. people who see themselves, well, who have, who have been seeing themselves as people from outside other countries, but now they will feel a part of this country. Yes. Great change. It, it's, uh, do you think it's, uh, it's giving a sense of inclusiveness, you know? Yes. Rather than just 